Hey guys, so my niece Lana over there has a loose front tooth that I need to pull out. Uh, her parents are a little bit scared to do it themselves, so I always do this, and so it's kind of our little thing. Are you ready for me to pull your tooth out? <laughs> She's really nervous. I don't know why, because she always takes it like a champ, and does it hurt ever when I pull it? No, but I'm just not always scared. See? Um, why don't you show them your tooth? Get real close. So it's super wiggly. I have been pulling her tooth since she, probably for like two years now, since the first tooth that was like wiggly for her. And I just do it with a string and I find that that is the easiest way to do it. It's super quick and uh, um, it kind of is the least scary for them because you're not like all up in their mouth because once you tie the string on there, you kind of step back and they're not as intimidated. So I'll show you how I pull her tooth today. Hopefully this will help you guys if you need to pull a tooth at home uh, and not have to worry about going to the dentist because it's super easy and it causes them very little pain. So, all right, Lana, you ready? <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is go wash my hands. You will also need some sewing thread. I find that this grips better than floss, a cup of warm salt water, some cotton balls, napkins for cleanup, and some oral numbing gel. So the first thing we're gonna do is apply a numbing gel, such as this one, on her gums to kind of just numb it a little bit. You can get this at the drugstore. They actually have a lot of this numbing stuff. It helps them when they kind of know that you're putting something for the pain, just in case they're more worried about the pain. So it kind of just eases everything and eases any tension they have. So we like to put this on her um, gums before we get started. Move your lip back, smile. While the numbing gel starts working, I'm gonna show you how to uh, tie a slip knot. <laughs> this girl. I'm just gonna grab about a two foot long length and then I'm gonna fold it in half. And then we're pretty much just gonna do a slip knot. Wrap it around your finger, loop it through so you have like a circle. And then the long side of it, we're gonna just loop that through again so here's our slip knot so you can use the shorter one to adjust and then here is our knot if you're nervous guys you can you can tell your parents or your mom or your dad to or your auntie you can tell them to count to any numbers you want because sometimes they can count any numbers long time ago I told you not to come to 20, and she comes to 20, then I pop out. So that was I was not scared. So I count, so she counts to 20. This loop, I'm gonna loop around her tooth, and then I'm gonna pull it. You ready? Let me see your smile. So here's the string. We're gonna count to 20. Just wait, just wait. Let me just brush my mouth. Huh? I'm gonna brush my mouth. Okay. Brush my mouth. Remember, get your cotton ball ready. So when you pull, you're gonna go straight down, like this. Ready? I'm just ready. Good time. Okay, so she wants to count to 30. Okay, one, two, three, four, 10, 11, 12, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <laughs> Here it is! Now I'm gonna give her the warm salt water to rinse. You can throw the cotton ball away. Okay. Let me see it. Ah. What do you think about your tooth pulling experience? Uh, it didn't hurt. Are you happy with it? Yeah. On a scale of zero to 10, how much did it hurt? Uh, nothing. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.